Hi guys, hope you are doing well from wherever you are watching me, depending on your time zone. Now for the past two, three days, there have been a video that has been circulating on social media. It has been shared largely on Facebook, Twitter, even YouTube. People are still sharing on WhatsApp about Professor Laban Ahiro involving another person, Professor Isaac Kosgei and uh, Moi University in Kesses. Largely, this video has shared by the followers in ANC party and the ODM party. And uh, it is just pointing to one thing. The candidature of one, the Deputy President William Samway Ruto. Now, remember we are heading to 2022 general election. And uh, William Samway Ruto has come out so strongly to condemn anything to do with the tribe. And even he has gone to an extent of branding some of the political parties in Kenya as tribal parties. And for him, he is not even ready to negotiate with anyone who has come with what is referring to as tribal parties. That's why people like Moses Kuri and the team, they are not in William Samuel Ruto camp. <laughs> and even he got to an extent of calling parties like WIPA, ANC, Ford Kenya, name them as tribal parties. So Ruto is banking on getting votes from each and every tribe in Kenya for him to become president. And largely he is focusing in the Mount Kenya region. Ruto don't want to hear anything to do with the tribe. So I want you to listen to this video very shortly. And after this, I'm going to point out a number of issues because we have to remind William Samuel Ruto how Kenyans think about him. The two governors accompanied by three members of parliament, James Bird, Silas Turen and Oscar Sudi from Moiben, Kesses and Kapsaret constituencies respectively, led residents to the university. They gathered some members of staff to whom they made clear their demands. They want the appointment of Professor Laban Ayiro revoked and the university council to reinstate the outgoing vice-chancellor Richard Mibe in an acting capacity until the issue is sorted. According to them, Matiangi's appointment of Professor Ayiro is ill-advised, claiming he was denying the candidate who topped during the interviews the chance to lead the institution on basis of his tribe. Wakati Koskea li apply yo kasi, kama ingekua wakalia watagikani, wangerudishe application ya gambi wa watagikani. Lakini alifanya interview, mumesikia alifanya interview kule Ikaton, akakua number number two. Akakuja hapa, akakua number number one. Kwa hivyo, hiyo kasi ya pewe, the leaders have threatened to sabotage the graduation ceremony scheduled for Friday if the appointment of Ayiro will not have been revoked by then. Nini kila siku mnangojea DP akienda nje ndio mnafanya funny appointments. Mnataka kutupiganisha kwa hii serikali. At ndio isemekane Rift Valley has issues. You know the deputy president has no support in his back at Quentin kabisa you are moles. <laughs> We shall interfere with management. Baka washike laini. Ata kanzo meeting tutakujanga kuketi huko kama mzea mita kusikiza. Tutake watu wanafanya mchezo hapa. Now, we are continuing with our panjula discussion, but a quick reminder. You might be watching me, but you have not yet subscribed. Please consider subscribing so that another time, once you come out, with a video like this one, you will always get notified. Again, to all the channel subscribers and anyone who drop a comment, I must say thank you so much for your unconditional support. Again, let us give this video a thumbs up so that YouTube is going to recommend our video to more viewers. Back to our discussion. Now, in that video, you can see Tolgos, Mandago, and Oscar Sudi. All these are William Samuel Ruto allies, and the name Ruto has been mentioned severally. So, that is who William Samai Ruto is when he gets to factory setting. Right now, we are campaigning. We are ahead of the, to the next general election. So William Samai Ruto wants to become a clean man who don't see Kenyans in line of tribes. But when it gets to real action, when Ruto gets back to factory setting, that is how he exactly behaves. <laughs> so as we are going forward, I know many things are going to come out. The other time we were talking about how Ruto chose the cabinet in 2013 and 2017. 
and now here we are going even in up to the learning institutes so tribal is going up to that level the person who was selected to go and take over the leadership of Moy University was one Laban Ayiro and since Ayiro is a lawyer a Maragoli so the people in uh, in in a Kalenjin nation could not allow another tribe in fact they are not just people the leaders political leaders in Kalenjin nation could not allow a lawyer to go and lead in that institute from the vice chancellor to the sweeper they are all Kalenjin and as we are speaking now Moi University is completely dead as Mumia Sugar Company. The students in that property, 80%, they are Kalenjin. And this is a national institute. So you can tell how tribal can go. And all these things is happening in the eyes of one William Samoy Ruto who want to lead this country after President Uru Kenyatta. He's promising that tribe will not have chance in Kenya. He's promising youth that he will be checking into their welfare. So a leader who is promoting tribalistic in terms of even employment, how can he guarantee you that he's going to take care of their interest? Youth who don't want to believe in tribes. That's why I tell you every time that when we get to the ballot, even the youth we are seeing here talking, the youth Ruto is telling where and where. They will still remember such things here. They are going to remember all these things. Why is it that 80% of the students in Moi University they are just challenging? Where are Luyas, Luos, Kikuyus, and all those other Kambas, name all those other tribes. So that is how long William Samoy Ruto can go. So these guys made, made sure that they have pushed up to the end until their tribal man was given a chance to lead that institute by the name Professor Isaac Kosige. So, Ayiro was just go back to Nairobi University and wait for a, another day. Ruto, who is branding other political parties as tribal parties, I don't know how he's going to convince Kenyans to forget about such memories when it has just happened in his eyes. And Mandog is making it clear that these people, they are trying to shortchange the Kalenjin community simply because William Samoy Ruto was out of the country. So it means they were acting on behalf of William Samoy Ruto. They were, taking, they, they were taking instructions from William Samoy Ruto. And so we come here and ask, remember because this thing has been shared by some guys in ODM and ANC. Those are the main political parties in Western region. So the question here is, do you think William Samoy Ruto is continuously going to convince lawyers to vote for him? Because now these memories are now resurrecting. They are being evoked out now again. People are now watching this thing. That's why I told you here, largely, Western region is going to realign themselves either with Musalia Mdavadi and uh, Raila Amolo Odinga. Nothing short of that. William Samoy Ruto, I still say here, he have no votes in Western region. He's looking for the presidency. And the presidency has rotated, revolved mainly in Central region. He's still running there for the running mate. How is he going to convince lawyers to vote for him? The lowest lawyer can go if they even don't get running mate position is just to vote for Raila Molo Dinga or go with Muslim David if he will go to the ballot. That's how that vote is going to split. So Ruto has proved Kenyan that he still appreciates tribes. And for that reason, Ruto is for the Kalenjin tribe. If they get an, any opportunity, the first place he's going to face is Kalenjin. So if this is Ruto, how he has acted, Tell me how his cabinet will look like in 2022 after he just get into the office. I'm certain that cabinet definitely is going to stand at 70% challenging. 
30% will be divided among other people. Even these Kikuyus who are pushing to get 40% of William Samaruto cabinet will get zero. They are going to get zero once William Samaruto gets to power. Because we can see from the history, history is the best teacher. And therefore, having the history here, we can't forget anything going forward. So that is one William Samoy Ruto for you. Now, lastly, two things. Number one, that act just shows that lawyers have no chance in any leadership position or capacity in Kalenji Nation. And even you can go and do your research, check in all these governors in their cabinet. They are saying 30% should come from outside. Check in any of those cabinet. You tell me which cabinet has 30%. If not, all those guys in leadership are challenges. None of these people have complied to that. But if I check in Western region, it is complying to 30%. Oparanya is doing it. Otichur is doing it. Wangamati is doing that. So that is kind of where we are heading to. And therefore, if more university has died, the question is, how will the state of our parastatus be when William Samuel Ruto get into power. Because the selection is going also to take the same line. So I wanted to tell me in the comment section, how will the parastatus in Kenya look like if William Samuel Ruto get into power? Thank you so much for listening to me up to this far. May good God bless you and see you in our next video.